Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some of my summer essentials and products that I really use a lot in the summertime and I just cannot live without. All right, so let's jump in. So this is from the Detox Market and this is their summer bundle. So if you spend $200 on their website, they send you this and it's worth $265, which is an amazing deal. All these products are full size and I'm so excited to be like partnering with them on this because I love the detox market and when they re reached out to me I pr practically screamed because I buy all my clean beauty products on there for the most part I mean I buy some stuff from other places but they have a lot of stuff that I buy on there and I shop on there frequently whenever I need new makeup so when they reached out to me about this summer bundle I thought it was really cool and I thought it's an amazing deal so in this bundle the first thing is the Audacite um, Blue Aura Cleansing Water. It has neem, holy basil, turmeric, and it's an Ayurvedic anti-pollution formula. So it's basically like a micellar water sort of thing. And it has all these amazing ingredients. It helps you take off makeup. It's a no-rinse cleanser. It has salicylic acid and grapefruit in it as well. So it's got really natural ingredients. And I am so excited that this was in there. It smells amazing. It smells like grapefruit, but it's not too overwhelming. And it has like a little push top that you like push down on with your cotton pad. So this is going to be great, especially after the beach and stuff when I just want to take off the sunscreen and everything. And then the next thing in here is the Pi Back to Life Hydrating Serum. And I've been really wanting to try stuff from Pi, so I was glad that this was in here. And apparently it's really, really hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid in it, and it's just really good for your skin. And then the next thing in here is the eye serum from Kahina, giving beauty, and it's a glass bottle. I love that all of these things come in glass bottles because it's such a bad thing to waste plastic. It's just really bad for the environment. The next thing in there is the Osmia Naked Body Oil, and I've been wanting to try their body oil. There's another one that's scented, that I've been dying to try but it's been sold out for such a long time but I've been wanting to try this body oil so I'll definitely be taking this like to the beach to make my skin look all glowy and hydrated and I'm actually going to Hawaii in August I've mentioned that a couple times now on here but in case you didn't know um, I'm definitely going to take this with me when I go to Hawaii for sure and it also comes with this really cool like bath soak and it's called sea kelp serenity it's from the brand bathorium and i keep forgetting to use this i need to use it i might use it tonight maybe but it looks amazing and i love the instructions on the back i love how it's like relax and a cup of wine so i bet this smells like the ocean which is probably so nice it's fragrance free which is also good if you're sensitive to that and something else in here that i've been wanting to try is the piper y activated charcoal deodorant and I just ran out of my other clean deodorant, so I've been using this one, and I like it. Usually, some clean deodorants irritate my skin under my arms, and um, I usually get, like, rashes from it. But this one has not done that yet, thankfully. Although I'm not crazy about the scent, it smells good in the container, but when it mixes with, like, my body chemistry or whatever, I don't really like the scent. So that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know if I would buy this one again, but, I mean, a lot of people love this, and it's, like, a bestseller on their website. So, I don't know. It's got it's aluminum-free. It's gender-neutral essential oils. It's good for sensitive skin. So I'm definitely going to use it up. I'm just not crazy about the scent. And the final thing in here, which I was really excited about, and I've been really wanting to try stuff from this brand. I haven't tried very many clean beauty hair products yet. And this is a brand that I've been hearing a lot about. It's called Innersense, and it's called I Create Waves. And I just, I love this because it's so like beachy. Um, it's a pink Himalayan salt spray to add texture and enhance waves and I actually have it in my hair today and I am telling you guys this is amazing because I blow dried my hair and then I sprayed some of this in my hair and I tied it up in a little bun and I left it up there for like 15 minutes right before I filmed this video and then I took it down and I had these really nice waves and I was just shocked because I don't usually use hairspray or anything and I've been looking for like a natural alternative and I feel like this would be great on those days where I want a no heat hairstyle and this also adds moisture to your hair so it's not going to dry out like a lot of salt sprays do so this I'll also be taking to Hawaii with me for sure and I'll definitely be repurchasing this when I run out it also smells like the ocean 
and I'm just obsessed. The next thing, so this is not in the bundle, but so the bundle's over. I already showed you everything in there. Um, this is the My Shell Sun Protection Liquid Sun Shield SPF 50, and I have the shade Nude. Now, I haven't used this a whole lot yet, just because summer's just kind of getting started, and I'm not tan enough for this yet, and I wish they came with or I wish they sold other shades. They only have this one and a darker shade, and the nude shade is for light to medium skin tones, but I am very fair, and I feel like this is too dark for me. So you have to shake it up before you use it, and they do have a clear one, but I don't know how clear it dries. I feel like it might dry kind of white on your skin. So I'm just gonna show you like a little bit of this. It's very watery. So here it is on the back of my hand. And it really does blend in pretty sheer, but I just have been afraid to wear it out in public just because I don't want to look orange. So this is amazing though. It's oil free. It's not greasy. It's very matte. So I would, if, if you have dry skin, I would wear like moisturizer underneath of it, but it's great for all skin types. It's great for summer and it comes in a glass bottle, which again, I love. And next is also kind of like a skin type of thing. I get very shiny at times, so I like to have a translucent powder to touch up throughout the day, and I love the 100% pure one. This is amazing. It's their bamboo, bamboo, bamboo blur powder, and it's a translucent powder, but it just keeps me so matte. I have it on right now, and it doesn't look dry or cakey or anything, so it's really, really awesome if you have like kind of greasy skin in the summer and next is a blush I'm a huge cream blush fan and I only just really started getting into it not that long ago so I don't have very many I have two but I feel like that's all I really need um, I have, actually have more than that but these two are my favorites right now so this one is from Tata Harper and it's her um, cheek tint but you can also wear it on your lips and this one's in the color very popular and you can get these from the Sephora website this color is so pretty on the lips and cheeks and it also smells amazing it smells like candy and it smells like these lollipops that I used to get at Disney World when I was little when we would go there they're in the Disney candy store, like in the Magic Kingdom, no, it's the Magic Kingdom, where like the Cinderella's castle is and everything, there's a candy shop there where you can get these lollipops. They're like this big probably, and they are the shape of Mickey's head, and they come in like a little bunch, and let me know if you guys have ever had those. But they have a very distinct smell and taste, like unlike any other lollipops I've ever had, and this smells exactly like that and I love it because <laughs> it just like reminds me of Disney World so I actually have two of these I have another one in very naughty I don't wear this one on my cheeks as often just because it's like red and I don't want to look I feel like when I look when I put on like reddish kind of blushes it just makes me look too much like a doll because my skin is so fair and like I don't have freckles or anything so when I put like reddish stuff on my cheeks I just feel like I look too like doll like but I really like this neutral color it's just a pretty pink and it's like a nudie pink with like a touch of it's like a warmer tone so it's just really really pretty on the skin and I love it on my cheeks so 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 much it's almost kind of like a melon type of color and it's very wearable and then this one is from Keir Weiss and I love the packaging on these. I actually keep them. So when you buy them, they come in these really nice, like, red kind of snake skin sort of type of packaging. And I keep the products in the packaging because it's reusable packaging, which is great for the environment. And it's very heavy and, like, just really luxurious. This is a luxury makeup brand. It's very expensive. But I think it's so worth it and I just have a couple products from them and I just like cherish them so much because the packaging is so beautiful and the products are so good. So you keep these and then when you run out of the actual product, you can just pop the pan out and buy a refill for it instead of having to buy all new packaging and just throwing it away because it's so wasteful and it just wastes plastic. So this one is the Cream Blush in Lovely and I've shown this in other videos. It's what I have on my cheeks right now. It looks super bright and crazy in 
in the packaging, but when you actually put it on your face, you can just use like the tiniest amount and it'll look really natural and pretty. So this color I love for spring and summer especially. I'm definitely going to get like a more neutral like lighter color for fall and winter time because I love these blushes so much. It's like the only blush I've been using since I got this. So check out the brand if you've never heard of it because it's really awesome. And then I have, whoa, I'm throwing products here. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy. Um, I have some lip products and these are all have SPF except for one of them doesn't. So this first one, it's not like 100% clean, but it's pretty clean and it's from Color Science. It's the Lip Shine SPF 35. And I bought this on Amazon probably like a month ago. And I have the color Rose, but they come in like a couple other colors too. And this is good for when you want SPF but you want to wear a gloss or something. So I just think it's good to have, people forget to put SPF on their lips. It's really important because you can get skin cancer on your lips. And it also just prevents wrinkles and stuff. So, because I don't want like wrinkly lips when I get older. I also have this Raw Elements Pink Shimmer Lip SPF 30. Whoops. This is a good one too. It smells like mint chocolate. It's delicious smelling and it has like sugar, pomegranate, and papaya in it. But it smells like mint chocolate and it's just kind of like a pink color. It has a tiny bit of shimmer to it. It's a good color just for every day. I wear this one. I'm like hiking and stuff like that. And then I have one from Well People which you can get at Target or Whole Foods or Amazon. And this is the color Cherry. This only has SPF 15 though so I wouldn't wear this if I'm going to be outside for a long period of time. It looks really red in the packaging but it's, it's a lot more sheer when you put it on. It's not like crazy pigmented. It looks natural on the lips, trust me. So then I have this one. This is a lipstick. It's from Suntegrity and it has SPF 30. This is like the only lipstick I know of that actually has SPF in it. So I think it's really cool. I have the color Sunburst Pink and these are like kind of expensive. I mean, I think they're like 20 something dollars, but I think it's worth it and I love the color too. So I wear this a lot too if I'm going to be outside but I want to look a little more made up. And then I have this, which is a lip stain. And I wear lip stains a lot when I want some color on my lips, but I want to wear like a lip sunscreen over it. So I'll put on like a clear chapstick that has sunscreen on top if I want it to last for a long time, but not look like I have like a heavy lipstick on. This just looks much more natural. And this is from 100% Pure. It's the Cherry Cheek and Lip Stain. And it looks really dark in the container, but it's really not. It's very, very natural looking on the skin. I'll do a little swatching for you. So that's the color right there and you blend it in and it's, see it's very sheer and you can use this on your cheeks too. So those are all my beauty products that I'm loving. I mean I have a ton more that I use and love throughout the summer but those are just kind of like the ones for now. I hope you guys like this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!